Dan Loeb is trying to slam the hammer down on Sotheby's. Hello and welcome to The Deal Report. I'm Jeff Kanige. Loeb's hedge fund, Third Point, has been locked in a battle with the auction house over management issues. Loeb says CEO William Ruprecht isn't up to the job and consistently loses business to Christie's, the other big auctioneer. Sotheby's responded by setting up $300 million of dividend payments to shareholders and by adopting a poison pill. The two sides are heading to court over that pill and a lot of corporate law experts think it may not survive the challenge. As the deals were on all reports, the main problem is that it treats activist and passive investors differently. The pill is triggered if an activist acquires more than 10% of Sotheby's shares, but a passive investor can accumulate more than 20% before the defense mechanism kicks in. Pills are usually deployed to protect companies against hostile takeover. Here, though, Loeb doesn't want to own Sotheby's. He wants three board seats and the ability to fire Ruprecht and hire someone better. Arguably, all shareholders would be better off if he wins. Loeb contends that Sotheby's disparate treatment of investors shows that the company isn't worried about a takeover. Instead, he says Sotheby's just wants to keep his three nominees off its board by limiting the votes he can control at the company's annual meeting. Now, poison pills are not unusual, and Loeb's case isn't a slam dunk, but he may not even need a clear victory in court. There's a hearing on April 29th, just a few days before Sotheby's annual meeting on May 6th. The judge could set a trial date and issue an injunction, allowing Loeb to go, Loeb to go beyond the 10% level, at least temporarily. That prospect and the possibility of an expensive trial might be enough to coax a settlement bid out of Sotheby's, which means Ruprecht could be going once. In New York, this is Jeff Kanige for The Deal.